Hey, Mind Freak Practitioner here. Um, I almost want to believe that, that actually is a real effect. I'm not going to completely disprove it, but I, uh, I, I have thought of a way that such a uh, trick could be, re uh, could be faked. What I'd like you to do, uh, just uh, for the hell of it for me, is the next time you're doing this trick, uh, when you rest the bill on your hand, I'm going to do this with a piece of paper, okay? Uh, I'll give you a demo as to what I'd like you to do, okay? When you have the thing on your hand like this and you're waving it, please do me a ha favor and wave your hand over the far edge of the bill like this. What this will do is that this will verify that there are no strings attached. Because I could think of a way that you could do this by bringing it down by having a couple of, um, by having a, uh, a thread at attached here. Uh, with an already existing bend in the paper, and then uh, having the th having the thread attached here, go around your shoulder to your finger and pull this way. It's the only way I can think of that you might be able to pull that off. But just in case, show that that uh, wave your hand over the paper with your hand over the far side. Okay. The reason why is that this way your arm will cut off any strings on both sides. Um, anyway, once you've done that, um, that will pretty much cover it for me. Uh, the only other possibility I could think of is that the paper is naturally chemically treated and then it's going to rise naturally anyway, responding to body heat. But unfortunately, uh, to do that would require actually chemically testing the bills to verify first. And, uh, you know, that, that's about the only other uh, thing I could think of. And unfortunately, I can't uh, require putting a test on that at present because unfortunately I can't be there in person with the relevant equipment to do that. Um, but other than that, uh, that would, uh, I would say that it would... Um, do wave your hand over the over the paper next time. Like I said, over the far side of the paper, like I did with the card, just to reveal, uh, just to remove that uh, strings possibility. And uh, oh, and yeah, and uh, do me a favor and film this with two or three cameras, uh, each filming you from different uh, angles, just to make uh, and uh, you know um, each one from filming from different angles and from a different major corner of the room. The other reason for that is to make sure that there are no accomplices accomplices blowing uh, faintly on the bill, so this way it starts moving up, but not that it's uh, you know that's blowing over. That's just the other, uh, there is a possibility of how to do that with a fine uh, stream of air I can figure out. Um, but like I said, just do those two things. Uh, film it with three cameras. Do a repeat of, of the camera from each angle. Uh, you know, each one just to verify that there is no uh, area, you know, again, I can tell from the bill of the uh, from the angle of the bill where it would have to be. So film, it, film yourself in a triangle from each of the three sides. Uh, once from the webcam, two from two other cameras if you can manage it. Um, uh, wait until you can get extra cameras to do this. Wave your hand over the far edge of the bill again, like I showed, uh, just to remove the possibility of strings. And, uh, you know, um, I can't remove the chemically treated option, but it's highly unlikely because you, pro you uh, the chemicals I can think of require to treat the bill, you probably wouldn't have access to. They're not at, a, they're not at a conventional, uh, they're not really at conventional magic shops. Um, you know, you'd, you'd actually have to spend a, a shitload of money to get them, and chances are I don't think you have access to that. So, um, I'd say that at that point, I just may actually believe that you have full, uh, that that is a real telekinetic effect. Like I said, just replicate it under those conditions, and um, you have me convinced. That's all. Uh, like, uh, have, uh, replicate it under those two conditions, and you have me convinced. Uh, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. All right, keep up the good work, mind freak. Looking forward to seeing your future experiments. Uh, uh, toodles. Oh, and before I forget, um, you might want to actually construct a uh, a video uh, construct a Torrenson balance to try to see if uh, if it can affect larger weights, so or or even to say affect something via gravitational field or you know stuff like that. Uh, I'll post a link over here for how to set up a Torrenson balance. Um, so yeah, other than that, keep up the good work. Toodles.